welcome to Labarge Stadium. My name is Victor Suspedis. I'm here with Mario Poblete and John McNichols. We're going to bring you exciting football action today between Golden West College and L.A. Harbor. Now, Mario is going to give us his thoughts on the game today, Mario. A uh, very hard game for Golden West right here, Victor. They are facing the best team in the conference, three and one. L.A. Harbor, outstanding running game, more superior than Golden West, but Golden West with a great passing game, Raymond Husser. 808 passing yards, 9 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, big number. Last year he struggled with interceptions, but this year he found it together. 69 percentage completion. Hopefully Golden West will win. They need to stop the running game to win victory. All right, Mario, and now let's get John's thoughts on this game today, Mr. McNichols. Well, Harbor comes in 3-1, and one, uh, lost last week after a great 3-0 and start. Golden West comes in 2-2. Two and two. Uh, they're much more uh, even than they are separated. Uh, Harbor will run the or will throw the or run the ball. They have the leading rusher in the league so far in the conference. Uh, Golden West will throw the ball. They will both play good defense, not great defense. We expect a close ball game. Uh, the outcome will probably be decided in the last couple of minutes of the game. Earlier in the week, I had the opportunity to do an interview with Albert Gasper and the athletic director. Now we have an opportunity to take a look at that interview. Here we are again, Al, another fall. We're going to take a few minutes to look at the athletic schedule for the various uh, teams at Golden West College this semester. Let's start out with soccer. What's the outlook for men's and women's soccer? Well, it looks great. Um, I think the men are, men are off to a real good start. I believe they're 2-1 and one or 3-1 and one now in conference. Um, the women are much, much improved. Um, beat Saddleback 3 nothing yesterday. The men actually opened up yesterday 3 nothing as well, beating Cyprus. So um, I think the women are tremendously improved, and the men are still, you know, they're up top ranked in the state, not top ranked, but in the top 20. And um, we should be right back up there again. Well, that's good to hear, and that's certainly an improvement over a couple of years ago when we had a tough time winning. Let's move on to cross country. How does that look this year? Um, they're improved as well from last year. Um, they're right, I think, in the middle of the pack. We had a big meet last weekend that we hosted at Central Park, and um, you know they're off running, and it's still early in the season, and we're looking for big things. I think it's appropriate for the cross-country team to be off and running. That's a good point. How about women's volleyball? How do they look right now? Um, they look good. They've got some talent. They've got some returning um, players back from last year and some good new freshmen, and I believe they're 5-2 and two or something. They're off to a pretty good start, and um, you know, the Orange Empire in every sport is by far the strongest in the state. So, you know, they'll have a battle in the conference, but hopefully we'll be up there at the top. And then moving on to the ever-popular water polo at Golden West College. How do the squads look this semester? Um, as usual, very, very good. I believe the men are top ranked and the women are in the top one, two, or three. And um, they'll find out this week and they go up to Cuesta and Long Beach City and defending state champ Riverside will be there. So they'll get a good gauge. Men... Um, I think are number one in Southern California. Of course, you still have to prove that out in the pool, but um, they're right up there again. Very, very strong. It's always good to talk about water polo and volleyball. Let's move on to football. How do the wrestlers look this season? Um, I think this is the best team we've had in a long time. They um really good camaraderie. They're very talented all the way through. Um, we've lost a couple tough games on some controversial type of endings, but um, you know, I think it's shown that it's not a fluke, that we're right there. We've lost to the, um, what, I guess the third-ranked team in the state and now like, the second, first or second-ranked team in the state on the last play of the game. So, I mean, we're right there, and I think we could play on Saturday with anybody. And, um, I mean, Coach Mitchell's done a great job turning this thing around from where we were a few years ago. And, um, you know, we're definitely a contender, and people know they've got to be ready to play when they play against us. And I've gone out to practice a couple times, and I'm an old football coach, and I'll tell you, I'm very impressed with how those men prepare. Uh, coach Mitchell's teams are ready to play ball every week. And I broke out my good luck Irish shirt. Uh, we haven't lost a game with this shirt on. I'm wearing it Saturday night. Great. That's great. And thanks for all your support, John. Well, th Al, thank you for spending time with us. It's always a pleasure to talk to the athletic director, Golden West Athletics. Very strong in the conference and in the state. Uh, we look forward to a great semester in all sports. Tonight, the emphasis is on football. Victor? 
Well, and John and you and Mario both made great points today. Uh, Golden West's defense is definitely going to have their hands full. I'm um, expecting a great matchup today, and uh, let's get this game going. That's it from the sidelines. Coach, we're at the midpoint of the season, 2-2. Two and two. Mm -hmm. Tough LA Harbor this week. First question I have to ask is, how are we injury-wise? We're, we could use a bye week right now, uh, but that'll come next week. So this week we, we've got a, a good amount of guys that aren't practicing right now, but hopefully we'll be ready for Saturday. Uh, Michael Pierre, our tailback, he missed the first two games, played a little bit the last two, uh, a little more this most recent one against Fullerton. So hopefully he'll be able to play the full game uh, Saturday night against LA Harbor. I, I thought he gave you a real strong threat running the football. I'm pleased to hear that he's uh, ready to go. Okay, now for the outlook for LA Harbor, how do we look this week? Well, you know, they're a talented team. Um, they're going to be physical up front on both the offensive line and the defensive line. But, um, you know, if we're able to get some of the key uh, injured guys back uh, for the game Saturday, you know, it'll be a good game. I. I feel we come out, play hard like we have been doing, execute uh, well like we have for the most part been doing, um, then it should be a, a good game and I expect to see us win it. Well, we're going to be there with the crew and I, I hope you noticed I put on my good luck Ireland shirt. Right. Uh, this shirt has not lost a game. We got to keep that going. Well, we should have worn it last last two weeks. Then, well, we coach, I broke it. Use that little bit of that luck those last two weeks. Yeah, we'll talk right. about those two games at another point. Sure. I know you're looking ahead. Yep. Coach, it's always a pleasure. Good luck. Thanks, John. We'll see you on Saturday. Back on. I had with Coach Nick Mitchell earlier in the week. Uh, the coach always points at the next opponent. We did talk a little bit about two games that got away, but you can't do anything about those. We have to just get ready to play this next one. That will be in just a little while right here at Labarte. Victor. And John, yeah, those were two tough losses, like Coach Nick Mitchell said. Uh, can't wait to get this game going today. Uh, let's hope Golden West bounces back. They have their hands full. And let's get this game going and see what happens today. That's it from the sidelines. Trip to Elkhart, Indiana. All right, guys, we're done. Oh, that's a, oh, that was painful. That was painful. Yeah. Elkhart's a place that has lost jobs faster than anywhere else in America. And the people who've lost them have no idea what to do or who to turn to. In fact, local TV stations have started running public service announcements that tell people where to find food banks even as the food banks don't have enough to meet the demand. Hello oh, and welcome to Labard Stadium. Another great day for college football. I'm Victor Suspedis along here with John McNichols. We're bringing you exciting action between Golden West College and LA Harbor. The wrestlers have a tough assignment in front of them, John. You, we, know, we know that they're running the ball excellent this year. We know LA Harbor's running the ball excellent. Uh, give me your thoughts on what's, what's gonna happen today, John. Well, Golden West traditionally plays very tough defense. They're going to be tested tonight against a team that runs the ball extremely well. Running back there on West is averaging over eight yards a carry. He's gained over 450 yards in four contests. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, record on any level of football. Golden West will be challenged to slow that young man down tonight. If they can do that and move the ball effectively on offense, it's not going to be an easy game. I expect it'll, it's going to be, go down to the middle of the fourth quarter. But it's a winnable game for Golden West. 
but they have to play an extremely good football game defensively and, of course, protect the ball and not turn it over. Well, John, I mean, we're going to see we're going to see a lot of running from L.A. Harbor. I, I expect we're going to see a lot of West Coast offense from Golden West. They're, they like to air it out. I spoke to Coach Nick Mitchell. I spoke to their offensive coordinator, and they said they're going to try to keep the defense honest. So look, look out for a lot of bubble screens. They're going to try to make them defend the width of the field, not just the vertical game. So let's, let's see what happens here in this matchup today. And the teams are lining up, and uh, Golden West is going to be kicking off from their 30-yard line. And Harbor is in the north end of the field to return the ball for this opening kickoff. L.A. Harbor versus Golden West at LaBarge Stadium. And here we go. We'll, we'll get things started with kicker Danny Anya here. Six-footer from El Medina, Orange, California, real local from here. The kickoff is off. We'll get things started here. L.A. Harbor recovers, taking it back to the 20. Cut back. We'll, talk, we'll be tackled down near the 20. And L.A. Harbor will get the ball here, start things off in the first quarter. Let's see if they start with that run game, John, or if they're going to try something differently in this, in this series. Uh, it's not a, unusual for a team that's noted for running and or passing to come out. I wouldn't be surprised to see a play action running, a play action pass on this first down. Or Harbor's going to go right back to the drawing board and run the ball right at Golden West from that spread or pistol offense. L.A. Harbor lining up in shotgun play action. Finds number 13 for a quick out. Number 13 oh. with a couple of yards there. And as Turner. I suspected, they came out with a play action pass. Golden West geared up to stop the run. Harbor knows what they're noted for. They run throw the play action pass. Good for about eight or nine yards. Second and very short. Harbor's in the no huddle. Getting the play in from the sideline. Allie Harbor snaps the ball, and it's a keeper by the quarterback. That is Chris Smith. Gain of one. And the quarterback is the second leading rusher, uh, gaining almost 160 yards in four ball games. And a pretty odd start for the quarterback to get a, a run there when they have that big weapon in the backfield that they haven't even tested yet against this. D line of Golden West, John. Well, it's early in the game, and during the week you practice things to try to fool your opponent. Uh, but before long, they'll go right back to what they just did, which is the option running play with that tailback. And Chris Smith with a handoff there to Theron West to the right side, picks up a few. Not quite up to his eight yard average, but enough for the first down, LA Harbor. First series, first possession. Harbor moving to the south end zone. First and 10. Ball in the 39 yard line coming out. A line up and shotgun again, LA Harbor is. Play action fakes, rolls over to the left, finds nothing open and is sacked immediately by number 91, Golden West College. That very ag aggressive pursuing defensive line of Golden West. That's Michael McGuire. Quarterback McGuire. didn't throw the ball when he should have, and he got caught for a loss. Michael McGuire wasn't biting on that play action. He stayed there contained and was able to bring him down. Second and 13, Harbor College with the ball. Coming and out. And again, L.A. Harbor showing shotgun here. Snap, drops back. Looking for someone over the middle. That was intended for number seven. Almost intercepted, Keith overthrown. Keith Lakey couldn't get there. John Just a Graves little. playing safety for the wrestlers. Almost intercepted that ball. Bringing up third and long. Harbor's ball. Third and 13 on the 36 yard line coming out. LA Harbor lining up again. Shotgun. Calling a timeout now. It's Chris Smith looking over at the coach. Maybe a little confusing on a play calling there. Well, when you don't go into a huddle, and it looks like Harbor's one of those teams that will not huddle all night long, 
except perhaps on extra points or something of that nature. You've got 11 players on the field that are getting the call from the sideline. The quarterback or tailback in this case was not satisfied with the call and he uses that first time out. Harbor, third and 13 on the 36 yard line coming out. Golden West, Coach Nick Mitchell taking full advantage of the timeout, talking to the Golden West troops on the west sideline. Here we go, third and 13. Important down early in the game for Golden West and for Harbor. Big opportunity here for Golden West to capitalize on, John. Well, they're forcing a running team to throw the ball. Sometimes when you do what you don't do best, you make a mistake. Shotgun again. Quarterback is sacked immediately. Well that pressure just came up the middle, and that D line just got there. Looked like the quarterback wasn't expecting it. Didn't didn't see what was coming, and immediately got brought down. John. Well, Golden West delayed the linebackers, uh, and they they didn't. The Harbor had not enough people to block the Golden West linebackers and defensive line, and Harbor's back in punt formation here after their first possession, quarter number one. Fourth and 23 here, LA Harbor punts. It's away, a short punt. Short and high. It's fielded near the 40, and Golden West with a risky play there, and gets his helmet knocked off. Wow, that had a hurt. Golden West uh, ball. That was a ri really risky play there, John. I mean, you want you want the ball back, and you want to get things going, but that could have gone really ugly for Golden West and been a turnover. They're very fortunate there. A short high punt like that, the uh, fair catch is never a bad idea. Now there is a late flag on the field. The referee is talking to the head linesman. The signal is unnecessary roughness on Harbor on Golden West. And you have amazing eyesight because I couldn't see that flag with this sun hitting our uh, he eyes. He threw it real late after the play. There must have been a late hit. Probably some jawing going on. Uh, early in the season, both of these teams have been penalized quite a bit. And uh, fifth game, we're halfway through the season after tonight. Those kinds of penalties. Golden West went from having pretty good field position to pretty normal field position. They have 75 yards to the end zone. First down, Golden West coming out. Golden West lining up in the I formation, weighs are under center. Wazar with a handoff, a couple yards picked up there by Michael Pierre. And, and LA Harbor knowing that Golden West is a pass team, so Golden West is also trying to fill them out, also going away from what they normally do, John. Yeah, but Pierre was injured early in the year, and the last couple weeks has been coming along, and I believe Golden West will probably run the ball tonight a little better than they ran it earlier in the season. He's a very good running back. Gives him that dimension to take the pressure off the forward pass. I Second formation down. again, motion. Jared Cohen with the motion. Wazar looks over the top and has there. a receiver there, but it's just a little bit overthrown. Yeah. Play action pass on second down. And Receiver was streaking right down the middle of the field. Ball was overthrown. And he had Alex Taylor there. It's just a little bit overthrown. Yes, he just hung it up a little bit higher, giving the receiver a chance to run under the ball. But if everything worked the way we'd like it to from up here, we'd score on every play. Absolutely, John. Third down, seven to go, ball on the 29-yard line, coming out. Now they're lining West. up an empty, and a single back, excuse me, with three wide receivers to the left. Strong side, a single receiver. Wazar drops back, scrambles, steps up, and makes a quick pass. That's ca caught by Andrew Williams for a few. Good pass, better run. Good for about 20 and a first yep. down, Golden West. And Wazar able to escape there and just capitalize on that big game by Andrew Williams. Yeah, Wazar's mobility is just enough to normally keep him out of harm's way. Ball goes over the 50 yard line. Golden West ball, first and 10 on the 48 going in. Wazar lining up under center. They show the eye formation here. A handoff, Pierre. 
here, looks to go outside and he is immediately tackled. Out without much success. And John, we were down on those sidelines. That D line from LA Harbor just looks huge when we were standing right next to them. So you could imagine what Pierre's going through. Well, he wisely cut to the outside where there might be a little running room. Didn't find much. No gain. Second and ten. Normally you would expect a play action pass to one of the very excellent Golden West receivers. There we go. Away's our under center eye formation again. Two wide receivers on the outside. Cornerback is coming. Too much time. And a flag. Unnecessary penalty delay a game. Too much time. It's going to be second and 15. When I talked to the officials before the game, the one thing I asked them to do was don't throw their flag. <laughs> so far, they didn't pay any attention to me. So far, it's a little bit of a flag show early on in this first quarter. 9.35 left in this first quarter, just getting things on their way here. Second and 15. Ways our looks around, confused, and it calls a timeout. And both quarterbacks have had the occasion to call a timeout on their first possession. That's why you have them. If you're not sure, you don't want to waste a play. Second and 15 early in the ball game is a crucial play. You need to get at least half of that 15 yards to have a good shot at the first down without some spectacular play. Well, John, first half timeouts are always a good thing. You want to make sure you set things up, get the tempo going correctly, get the thing, the things flowing, as they say, correctly, and you don't want to make, you don't want to give up that mistake that could cost you the game later down the, down the road. All right, and I'll just announce the officials for tonight's game: Alan Tempo, Joe Jaraputo. The linesman referees, Scott Kennedy. Line judge is Monte Montgomery. We'll continue here. Back to the action. Golden West ball, second and 15. Ball on the 48 yard line coming out. Golden West show single back. Wazar drops back. Packer coming. Wazar is knocked down immediately by LA Harbor. A little bit high up around the head, but the referee was right there and didn't call anything. Substantial loss for Golden West. And linebacker Matt Willis from LA Harbor just comes up the middle and shoots up that gap. No one's able to help out Wazar there, uh, John. We could see him from up here, but I'm not sure the Golden West people on the field level could see him. We have the advantage of a little bit of altitude. Brings up third and very long, 22 yards third to go and for 22. the Third and 22, shotgun, shotgun. Starting to move out to the weak side. Wazar drops back, has someone, tip pass, and is intercepted by L.A. Harbor. He's still running around. And he's still got room. He's got a path. And he's got room, and he's going to get caught. Is at the 10, and he'll be dropped about inside the, it looks to be about the 7, but we'll see where the officials mark it, John. He's inside the 10. That ball had to be tipped at least three times. Looked like a volleyball match down there for a moment. Then it was intercepted by Harbor and run back to inside the 10. First down on the eight. And now John, that running game will come in. And John, it's very difficult when the offense throws a pick to automatically turn that switch and become a defensive team. But the offense has to know you got to tackle. And LA Harbor lining up and run. And uh, hand it off with a gain of a couple. Now the wrestlers are going to be tested here because Harbor is first and foremost a running team. Theron West picks up a couple of the strong side there. <laughs> We're in quarter number one, eight minutes and just over 10 seconds to go. Harbor College has the ball, second and six to the goal line. LA Harbor lined up in a split back set. A little more power on the right side. We'll see where they go. And they hand it off to the right again. And the wrestlers and that actually mount a strong defense and hold him to one yard. 
And that actually goes to uh, Dion Willis there, not the Ron uh, West who was getting most of the carries. So a little change up for them there, giving uh, the Ron West a little break there. Well, Harbor's getting ready for the rest of their season and they need more than one good running back. But when things get tough, you give the ball to your horse. Now, that was motion. now play action, rolls to the left. And overthrown. just a bit overthrown. I would call that a great defense for Golden West. A good series of three downs, forcing great. the play action pass. And Harbor will line up to attempt a field goal from the five yard line. Well, Golden West gets a big break there, John. And could have uh, been a whole lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. You turn the ball over inside of your 10 yard line with four shots at the goal line and a running back that averages eight yards a carry, you would think something good would happen. Now LA Harbor lined up, kick this field goal. This young man was kicking him pretty good, warming up. And uh, let's see what the refs call. No good, John. He, Just hit, the, he hit the crossbar, hit, hit the side post. Hit the, the left crossbar. Hand, hit the, side, the left hand side post. And the ball bounced back. Now my question is, the Golden West player caught the ball in the air and he turned around and threw it immediately to the official. I'm wondering, and I'll have to ask the official, if that goal post is considered in the field of play or not, and if that ball could have been run by the Golden West player. I don't know that I've ever seen that in over 50 years of watching football. Wow, John. Well, I learned something new play. every week with you, John. So <laughs> Interesting play. I just wonder. I'll, I'll have to ask that question. And that's why we got you here, John, to bring us all that experience. I've learned so much from you in these last couple years. Golden West gains five on the first down. Golden West, very fortunate there, John. Well, that could have been a whole lot worse. And, and like you said, that kicker was making them from deeper than that in practice, but practice and games are so different. Well, that... You think how small that post is, and he hit it solid enough for the ball to bounce straight back to the playing field. Ways are lined up in the I formation. Little handoff here, and a quick little, oh, and a great game. If he's got enough speed. And he's got room. Michael Pierre. Michael Pierre. Michael Pierre, loose. He's got it Keep all the way. Touchdown, Michael Pierre. Touchdown, Pierre, that was incredible run, John. Five yards. Seven, five yards to the end zone by Pierre. Uh, well, I predicted two things tonight, and I'm two for two. Well, Harbor started with a play action pass, and Pierre has given Golden West a dimension they did not have earlier in the season. What a turnaround. From Harbor having the ball first down inside of the 10 to Golden West scoring six plays later. Now, the kicking game has been an Achilles field for the wrestlers. In the past. Uh, now, Tonight, they're good. Not so much. Danny Anya, number 24, actually spoke to Coach Nick Mitchell, and he told me that, you know, he's on the soccer team, and he's seen great things from him in the offseason, so he expects his kicking game to be solid. How deep? Only only the season will tell, John, how we deep he can really kick it from. We can't complain about that. Nope. And we'll see where he puts the kickoff. Last year, a lot of teams thought they were being disrespected for Golden West going for the two, but that, that was their best probability because they had no kicking game last year, correct? The kicking game was very problematical at best. First quarter, six minutes and 27 seconds to go. Golden West seven, Harbor College zero. What an interesting turnaround. Great start for uh, Golden West. You know, they're... Uh, they're a passing team. They're a West Coast offense passing team. And now that, now that they, now that LA Harbor actually has to respect the run, it'll open things up for the passing for uh, Wazar here tonight. A, a certain amount of the time that Harbor spent this week practicing to stop mainly the forward pass, some of that time now is not so well spent. We hope that it trend continues. And Danny Anya here with a kickoff at the 30. Go to the right down side. to the 10 and yard line. And it's bobbled by number seven of LA Harbor. Bobbles recovered. Give you time to set your blocks. And they run Fort it back LA out. LA Harbor to fortunate 25. to recover there, John. <laughs> Must be a little bit of that sunlight in his eye. Don't know exactly where. Well, we're in this booth now for about the next 10 minutes. We'll have trouble seeing the field. Uh, these games this time of year, <clears throat> before daylight savings time, we face this all the time. Harbor's ball on the 25 coming out. 
first and 10. Let's see if that vaunted running attack comes to life. LA Arbor lined up, lined up in shotgun. Ball snap, a handoff to the right side. I believe well that's the Ron West there. And the spread formation is run a little bit like the old triple option where the quarterback is reading a defensive player. In this case, it's a tailback, but he's still looking at the defensive lineman, and he has the option of handing the ball off or pulling it out and keeping it himself, depending upon what the defensive lineman does. Uh, whoops. You didn't touch him, so it doesn't count. Here we go. Ball's never snapped. Ball snap. Another handoff. I believe this is a Dion Willis of LA Harbor. Great job by Golden West. Not falling for anything there, and they've been showing run, run so and far, they, John. They've gone back to what they're noted for is to run the football, pass when necessary. They tried to pass early, I think catch the wrestlers by surprise, was unsuccessful. Right now it seems like they're going back to their running game, which they will do very well as the night goes along. Shotgun shown by L.A. Harbor here. One back. Drops back. Finds a receiver and it's dropped. There were there were five wrestlers within about two yards of that football. Half of them I don't think could see it because it did get deflected up into the air. And it's gonna bring up fourth down. Eight to go for LA Harbor. And this is a great start of your Golden West, a team, yeah, a power, power team like uh, L.A. Harbor punting to you early this, this Harbor game. Harbor has not gotten off to a real good start, but they do have the ability to score points. Clean Pedro Martinez punt. is the kicker from Banning High School. Short again. We'll see. He actually takes it again. And we'll be brought down near the 50. We'll see where the refs mark it. A whistle did blow. <clears throat> Good little return for uh, Ryan Watson there. Golden West starts with a short field right at the 50-yard line. If you could start every drive at the 50-yard line, football would be a relatively easy game. Yep, be very arena football-like-ish. <laughs> and that's why they put up basketball numbers. Golden West here, get things started. 444 left in the first quarter. Split back, weighs our hands off. And they're going to ride that horse until they get knocked off. And this is a Michael Pierre. This is number 27, Cody Johnson. They're secondary running back who will be sharing the, the carries. Uh, one coach, Nick Mitchell, feels Pierre needs a break. Yeah, coach Mitchell has four backs that have all gained right around 100 yards this season. Uh, and the running game it has been good so far in this contest. Wazar again with another handoff to Cody Johnson, and that time he's immediately stuffed. Has nowhere to go. Great job by L.A. Harbor there. Yeah, you could almost hear that contact up here. That was a pretty solid hit. All right, third and six. I'm just thankful I don't play anymore, John. <laughs> So when you can be up here in the booth and you still feel the hit, it's a good thing that we're up here. Yes, sir. Obvious passing situation. Wazar no empty back. Fakes the handoff and Wazar takes it himself. Oh, he's going to be the very 40. close. Very close. Very close to the first down marker. Are they going to call for a measurement? It's pretty close to well, It's fourth and short. Fourth They're and short. And you know Nick Mitchell is very risk-taking. He's going to want to capitalize on things. What do you think he go, does here? I, I just line up and run the ball. He hasn't shown any indication that he's bringing in any punt team. In the coach's handbook, it says you try to get the other team to jump off sides. Correct. A hard count Correct. or something. Oh, he's got his big set in here. He has his big boy fullback. So, obvious run and a big, big game there. First down. 
first down of who else? Michael Pierre. No, no doubt about that one. Golden West's offensive line, the offensive line never gets any credit, but we got to give them credit early on here. Hopefully they can carry the strength and momentum into the fourth quarter, John, because that's usually one offensive line will slowly start to deteriorate. And that Harbor defensive line has pretty good size, but the Golden West boys are doing a fine job again, so far. Again, I formation a power ice set here. Play action. Ways are trying to find a Look way out. to get out, and it's sacked by that and L.A. Harbor D-line. L.A. Harbor D-line showing great signs still yeah, they're getting pretty to mobile. Wazar. Pretty mobile. Pretty good loss, so it's gonna be second and about 14, 13 or 14, second and 13 on the board. And Piero, Michael Piero get a rest here. And yep, they're Harbor going. Showing a three-man rush, a wide, anticipating the pass. pass. Wide receivers, be on alert. Wazar drops back, looks his right, finds wide open receiver for a quick slant. Very close to another first down. Looks like it might be about a yard short. Alco Got Manuel most of what nice they needed. Game. Third and about two. Ball right in the middle of the field on the 27 yard line going in. And Important here goes, play for the wrestlers. And here goes Golden West again with the I formation. Ways are in center. Hand off. Again to Cody Johnson. Gonna be close. Should have enough. Looks like he got over the 25. Safely over the 25 to the 24, first down. Harbor's rotating defensive lineman. Good idea for the second half. Give guys a little blow every now and then. Got the slot set to the left. Boys are under center, trying to get the D-line to jump. Long count, hand off. Again, a Pierre to the right side. Picks up a few he's, there. He's within one step of breaking that now about three times, and he has broken it once. Well, John, that 75-yard run you were talking about, when he broke that one, I mean, he kept his feet moving, and I personally thought he was almost wrapped up in tackle, but Pierre just showed that strength with those quads of his and just kept going and going and was not brought down. Well, Coach Mitchell told us a couple weeks ago that he was getting healthier and it's really added a dimension that the wrestlers needed. And we have a false start here on the offensive line. That's five yards you hate to lose. Just extremely tough for the offensive line to always be ready because their, their job is protect that quarterback and Gotcha. And it is now the end of the quarter. They let the clock run down. And now uh, we'll have Mario Pavletti tell you about this first quarter. Outstanding first quarter for Golden West and very surprising for Ellie Harbor. They got an interception close to the 10 yard line. They have a chance to score and Golden West comes outstanding with a goal stand. Then Golden West takes over the ball after a few minutes go, and Golden West scores in a running, incredible running game played by Pierre. Now Golden West has a chance to improve and get another score right here in the second quarter. John, Victor. Thank you, Mario, for that. Uh, let's see how this, uh, let's see how this uh, second quarter uh, continues for Golden West. And Hopefully they keep running the ball. It seems like it's working. It seems like they're tiring out L.A. Arbor. Eventually they're going to go to their pass game because that's their bread and butter, John. Well, the dimension of running the ball to a passing team just gives you the opportunity to loosen the defense up a little bit. When you're running the ball successfully, the defense has a tendency to crowd the line of scrimmage. That opens up passing lanes in that intermediate passing area especially. So Golden West's ability to run the football in this contest against a very strong football team 
Could make it an interesting night for the wrestlers. Here we go, quarter number two. And Golden West will get it going here. Single back, about the 24. Second and nine after Wide. the penalty. Wide receiver shift and a quick bubble. And that's a live ball. Drop. Yeah, the, the danger mm. of that swing pass is it's a running play if it's a lateral and anything that's not a forward pass is a lateral pass and that was and when it's not complete, the ball is still live. Golden and West takes another loss. That was intended for uh, Malcolm Manuel. That, that's what we, we've seen all of last year. Quick bubble passes, quick screens, and now they're, trying, they're starting to show something different because you can't show run, run, run. Eventually your back starts to get tired. And I believe the officials made an error on their decision. That was obviously a lateral. They're treating it like an incomplete pass. Good for oh, Golden West. Fortunate for Golden but, West. But not the correct call. Empty back, field. four wide. Wazar looking left all the way and goes middle and fortunate, not intercepted there. Again intended for Malcolm Manuel. And Golden West, it looks like, will line up and attempt a field goal. A lot of coverage there, John. Why not just attempt to run the ball and play it a little safer instead of trying to get picked off? Well, I, I, the, the most open receiver was the slot back to the left-hand side. The ball was thrown into the middle of three Harbor defenders. Fortunately for us, it was incomplete. The kick is off, and we'll see what the rest mark it. No not good. good. Just a little bit wide to the left. Not the good, and the Harbor coaching staff considers that a victory on the sideline. They could have very easily been down 10-0. Indeed they now do. It's seven. In community college football, when a field goal is missed, the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. It does not go to the 20-yard line like it does in high school. So Harbor takes over on the 23-yard line, first and 10. Coming out, second quarter, 14 minutes, 44 seconds remaining. And LA Arbor will line up in a shotgun again with one running back in the backfield. Chris Smith with the keeper to the right, and he's got room, and he'll work his way past the 30. That's just like an old single wing play. Snap the ball back to the tailback, the fullback or remaining back leads him through the hole. That's the kind of play UCLA used to run back in the 50s sure. with the legendary coach Red Sanders running the old single wing. Shotgun set again. Chris Smith keeps it again and goes nowhere that time. Maybe a yard there. We'll see what they give him. It appears to me that Harbor is beginning to grab bag a little bit. They're trying to find something that will work for them uh, consistently. They will if they keep it up because they have a lot of good athletes. But right now they're burning some important downs. Third and very short. LA Harbor showing shotgun again, with one, one back in the backfield. Chris Smith, quick slant. Don't let him out. A catch is made by a strong side wide receiver. That's number six, Brandon Manning. Freshman out of Pacific, Los Angeles, California. Harbor ball, first and 10. Ball in the 43 yard line, coming out. And LA Arbor showing again, shotgun set. Three receivers left, one on the right. Golden West sending four guys. Quick slant pass to number 11. Delvin Purvis with a tough catch there. And traffic. And Harbor thinks they found something now. They worked that slant pass a couple times in a row. And they'll probably keep working it until Golden West can stop it. And they got to go a little bit to the man. Always man been on my man. theory. You keep running it till they stop you. Harbor does not have LA seven Harbor. men on the Shotgun. line of scrimmage. Fumbled. And Chris Smith is fortunate. To, the ball falls right back to him. And Usually that football bounced around, and fortunate that time he bounces up there. And let's see if we'll get you a replay here. 
There was a penalty on the play. I'll get you folks a replay in just a second here. They're waving the flag off, but from up here. All right, let's take a look at the replay now. Perhaps next time. I'll it's try to get that replay to you. Second and 15. All right, let's move on. Second, second and 15 to go, LA Arbor. They get their signal yeah, Chris, from the sidelines. Chris Smith and looking the at the coaches West there. Are starting to jump on that. Chris Smith dropping back. A quick little screen pass. And Got LA Harbor help. has room here. And Golden West recovers. Going to be third and about back to the original line of scrimmage. So third and about 10. Just inside, about nine. And Dion Willis Harvest on that screen ball pass. going in. Ball on the 41 yard line. Third and nine, big Important stop play. here. LA Arbor again showing shotgun. Same formation. They just keep shifting it to the right or the left. Golden West, a little iffy on the blitz here. Again with a slant. Chris Smith again with a slant. Well, they've thrown that, that successfully three times will now be in the his last tight couple end. minutes. Jacob Avery out of Wilmington, Coach Mitchell California. Mitchell makes three substitutions on the defense. Try to keep a few players fresh. That's a big first down for LA Arbor here. Now it's fourth and one, fourth and short. This is and an important down for him. Now they're now they got the empty split set. Could be a run, and it is to the right. And he Golden didn't West have to go very far. It looks like the ball might have been on the ground. We'll see what they call here. Golden West doesn't fall for anything. No pitch. They stay there. They may have seen something on There's tape. There's a in the wrestling pass. match going on the bottom of the pile. And Golden, Golden West, West looks to have the ball. Let's wait for the officials to give the official the sign here. just did. Number 17 came up off the pile. All right. James Williams, number 17. What an amazing turnaround ball. here. Well, Golden West has dodged a couple of bullets tonight. That's not a bad sign. <laughs> He'll take it however you could get it, John. And I mean, LA Arbor just showing that they were moving the ball, moving the ball with those slant routes. And they are very fortunate that when they ran it there, Golden West just fell on it. Now, fumbles and interceptions could kill you. Fumbles and interceptions. You can't help it when you lose the ball. First and 10, Golden West, ball in 32. Single back, got movement, motion. Wazar looking for the out route. Good That's gain, about five. Short gain there. Alex Taylor with the catch. Alex Taylor from San Pedro. And four yard gain, second and six, Golden West. 10 minutes, 50 seconds remaining in quarter number two here at beautiful LaBarge Stadium. The sun has now dropped behind the West bleachers and we can actually see. Second down. Now we can see the visiting team. <laughs> I formation, Golden West showing. Ways are, oh, very fortunate. Batted down pass and it's live from what it looks like. And LA Harbor falls on it. We'll wait for the officials. That's gonna be and interesting. And it looks like it's a forward pass from what? One official is calling. I, I, the side judge is stepping in. The officials are having a meeting. It's very similar to the pass that you yes, had referred to this one down was here, less John. of a lateral than that one was. This was a very well played defensively. Defense knows they they did their they did their job on scouting Golden West because they know it, they love those out routes and bubbles. An incomplete pass. Incomplete. Golden West very and fortunate. I, be, I believe that was the right call. It, it you believe that? Me, you believe I that believe, time it was? Yeah, because the ball was being thrown to the wide receiver, okay. who lines up in front of the quarterback. Okay. And the defense, the other one to me was obviously two, at least two yards. Well, then, since we don't have a replay, you have to take our word for it. That was a forward pass, incomplete. Third down, six to go. Goal to win. Ways are all line up in a single back formation. Motions his wide receiver to the left. They're bringing a cornerback. Ways now ways are ways are on a bootleg. He looks to go, time. has nowhere to go, and just goes out of bounds. And the wise thing there, I was expecting him to throw it away, but at least he didn't fumble the ball or 
do something else that could have been silly. That's the hardest pass for a right-hander to throw, running to your left. It's hard to get squared away enough to unload the ball and not throw it to the wrong guy. Plays our ticket out of bounds, bounce the clock. Fourth and six Golden now. Fourth down, and here we are, punt formation. Again, we don't always have great success punting the football. Number 27, Cody Johnson back to kick. Cody Johnson from Pacifica High School in Garden Grove. And Cody Johnson doing it all tonight, punting the ball, running the ball. Gotta love that guy. And it's a fake. No, no, it's the rug rugby oh. style kick. Oh, oh. We, we've not, always seen John, Coach McNick, uh, Coach Mitchell. Mitchell, excuse me, go for fake. So he just got me off guard there. Well, we've seen him do that plenty of times in the past. They have that rugby kick, which I have never cared for. They would not have made a first down with the length of that punt. That ball was punted about eight yards. Sets up the Golden West defense in their own territory. I, Here comes Harbor. You might as well have gone for it if you're going to give them that much space. <laughs> First and ten. Well, in practice, that ball probably gets kicked pretty far. Looks like it might have been partially blocked. Chris Smith with the handoff. A short gain there. And John, all right, they're, they're, they're punter on our roster saying uh, Donnie Ruggles, so maybe Donnie may have been hurt. I don't know if we can get some information from down the sidelines, but I mean, I, I'm guessing that Cody Johnson isn't the normal punter because we do have uh, Donnie Ruggles on our depth chart higher than him. Well, the kicking game has been sort of an Achilles heel for Golden West for several seasons. And L.A. Harbor will run the ball again. Chris Smith, they're going to have a couple there. Brings up third and seven. Important series for the Rustlers. Turning the ball over in their own territory. So far, Harbor has not capitalized. Third and seven. L.A. Harbor lining up. Shotgun formation. Chris Smith dropping back, looks over the middle, and misses his wide receiver. That's Lonnie Turner from Inglewood, California. Harbor will line up to punt the ball. Uh, the play here obviously is a soft kick. Try to bounce it inside the 20 yard line. Success is determined by how far inside that 20 you get it. Kicks it high. And a high kick and they're gonna let it bounce. And it's gonna be- out inside the five. It's gonna just be brutal for Golden West there. Now that's the play. You don't wanna field that ball inside the 10, but it bounced out of bounds inside the five. There's some movement on the part of the officials. No flag, okay. Golden West takes over. A lot of football field in front of them. In the old days, we would have said a lot of grass, but we don't play on grass anymore. Indeed. Not here at LaBarge Stadium. First down, Golden West deep in their own territory. And Seven ways. minutes, 59 seconds, quarter number two. Ways are in our formation, hands off again. Great run by Michael Pierre, and he feels that he had a, he had a little more there, and he just got brought down by one uh, a, one safe the safety. And that's just, the third time he's been a step away, and he's already broken one for 75. He's dangerous. The other coaches in the conference and he's not shying, have to take. And Pierre's not shying away from the contact. He's taking it, but he's also beating guys off the line. Pierre again with another hand, and he'll be brought down. Good gain. It's going to be the third 13. and short. <laughs> down deep in your own territory like this, you have to be very careful throwing the ball. Indeed. One mistake, and you turn it over deep, or they put it in the end zone on you. 
So we, quarterback Huizar handing off. Pretty safe play. And again, another run to Pierre, and we'll see if he can. And he picks up the two and, there he is and again. more. So he's going, he and that safety man are going to know each other really well before this night is over. <laughs> But he's not shying away from that safety contact. He's giving it to him, hoping that he can bounce off that safety yeah, like he, he did that on that previous run where he, he broke it for 75. Now he's He certainly keeps the defense honest. They can't just play the pass. Golden West is now a legitimate threat to run the football. And a fumble. Ball's on the ground. And a Wazar bobbles the snap. And Fortunate falls into the fullback's hands. Now Golden West came out that time and showed an unbalanced line. They had moved uh, two tight ends to the right-hand side of the ball. Uh, that usually means they're gonna run to that strong side. Unfortunately, the ball was fumbled. Second down and about 13. Just over six minutes to High go in quarter number two. Formation, two wide receivers to the right. Ways are under center. Another handoff, and this time to Cody Johnson. He'll gain a few there. We we'll brought down. Gets surrounded by Harbor and taken the, to the ground. Yeah, the 22. <laughs> Third and 12 here, John. Just about back to the original line of scrimmage. And it looks It'd like really be nice to make this first down. I hate to depend on that punting game to get us out of trouble. Now they'll line up, single back, three, three wide receivers to the left. Wazer under center. Wazer drops back, steps up in the hole, has, and he dumps it down. And a quick catch and a fumble. There's a race. L.A. Harbor on the ground. Another fumble and recovered Looks by like L.A. Harbor. Looks like Harbor got it. And all and Olawalu Falemi with the recovery there. Unbelievable, John. It was bobbled twice. It looked twice. for a moment like Olawalu And Ola we will West get you the recover. replay this time, folks. Uh, all right, take a, look at, take a look at this replay we have here. Wazar right under center. And he's dropping back. And he's just, he Good just scramble. decides to scramble and just dump it down. And his wide receiver just doesn't wrap up the ball. Well, he got poked out by the defender. And great job by the defender to poke the ball out. And sometimes, John, as, as a wide receiver, when you have that much open field, he's just trying to find the end zone and, and forgets to wrap up the ball, John. Lose track of where the defenders are. Harbor's ball, first down. And huge play for L.A. Harbor Five here minutes, seven seconds in quarter number two. L.A. Harbor showing the same set. And flags thrown. Somebody was moving. Looks to be in, on the defense. We'll see what they call. Motion. Oh, uh, Harbor. Motion. First and 15. Well, there's two ways to look at that fumble. If Golden West has to punt, we might not kick it that far. We didn't last time. You hate to lose the ball. Fumbles and turnovers, fumbles and interceptions. Worst thing you can have. But in the long run, it might have been better than a punt unless we really punt the ball well, which we haven't yet. Shotgun for LA Harbor again. And the slot back is uncovered. Chris Smith drops back, looks to his Close running on back him. on the left and he'll pick up some. Looks like he's gonna be right about back to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Maybe a little bit inside. And Dion Willis, they're able to pick up some crucial yards for them to keep moving uh, the ball on this drive. And LA Harper's been showing this uh, shotgun formation this whole half. You think they're going to change it up a little? In the I second? believe that's their offense. I, that's I their don't offense. think we're going to see that quarterback under the center at all. Second and eight. Motion we again. Have flags. Too much time. That's amazing. They have a no huddle offense. The play is coming in from the sideline which takes no time at all, and they get called for too much time. That's, that's rare. That's rare. 
Now the official's clock starts right now. They have 25 seconds to get the ball in play. And second and 13 here for LA Harbor. Smith drops back, steps hang up, on to and him, gets wrapped up, him. but gets loose, finds some space to the outside, cuts to that big back inside, and is and tackled. The quarterback's a good athlete. He made everybody miss. This could and be an we'll, interesting one to watch. And we'll take a look at the replay here. They had him dead to rights, and he got away. Smith's looking around, has, gets wrapped up and gets loose, and starts to scramble, go into running back mode, and he's very fortunate he doesn't lose the ball. There are a lot of contact there, John. Third down and nine. Smith again. Shotgun formation. Drops back, looks left. Goes left, and it's almost intercepted. Could have been intercepted. Hit the Golden West player right in the hand. And Rob Vanderip all over that. Just wasn't able to come up with that ball. He's in a good position. Just couldn't hold on to the ball. Harbor College, punt formation. Three minutes, 25 seconds remaining in quarter number two. Golden West late to line up here, but they do get in. The punt is off, clean, close. Golden West takes it, and he returns it. And Got he has room. room. He has room. Oh, and he. Good return. Defender makes contact, but he's also tripped. It's also tripped up there. Great return. Golden West's special teams is scaring me tonight, John, because it is very, very close. Very close. Ryan Watson we'll makes a nice return. We'll take a look nice at the return. replay here. And you folks tell me if this is close or not, but he is playing with fire here. Barely gets the punt off there. And then the returner decides to take, take it off and... Just Golden finds West room ball, there. First and ten. And a handoff to Pierre. Couple. Pretty good gain on first down. Three good, yards. Good return for Ryan Watson there. Very agile. Makes it look so easy. Second down and seven to go. Just under three minutes, quarter number two. Nice time to eat up some clock, go down and get a score. Ways are under center. Another handoff to Pierre. Short Linebacker game. read him all the way. Number 31 was just waiting in the hole. Brings up a third down, another short gain. But I'd keep running that ball. Pierre looks to, to us up here like He's a step away from breaking it every time. He has that uh, elusive ability and enough speed to outrun the defenders. We got third and four. And in, late, in situations like this too, when you're just expecting run, run, Coach Nick Mitchell is very well known for going for it all and may go on a vertical route and you never know. And quarterback Weizar can throw the ball extremely effectively. Weizar drops back, looks right, and a very dangerous pass into coverage. Batted down by number 44. Yeah, that Eric was a little Kendall dangerous. all over that. And it wouldn't have been a first down even if he'd have caught it. So it brings up fourth down. And the ways are getting away with one there, throwing it a very tight coverage. Well, it could be, since Golden West was running the ball so much, quarterback Weezer has not gotten into his normal momentum of things. Right, right. By this time, he's usually thrown at least twice as many passes. Yeah, John, in the previous games, I mean, he's recorded 50-yard passes, 60-yard passes, so. And here's a punt again. It's that rugby-style kick. They'll be caught by the 20. They'll be brought down about the 25 or so. That's still only a 25 or 30-yard kick. And again, that was Cody Johnson with the punt, so. I guess well, you, that's their punter they're going with now. You got to do what you can do. And if Cody's the best punter on the Golden West squad, he's the man to be doing that. And perhaps before the night is over, he'll root a couple of them 40 or 50 yards. Here comes Harbor. 
One minute, 51 seconds remaining in quarter number two. Golden West seven, Harbor College zero. Empty backfield. One would suspect the pass. Smith drops back, looks in the middle, and is sacked. Held it a little too long. And that was very defense good. Defensive line def collapsed, and let's very give that guy defense. credit. Harbor was, uh, uh, Golden West was playing for the, uh, to defend the medium range pass. That was Michael McGuire there all over Smith. Timeout, Harbor College. And this L.A. Harbor team, John, has been known for putting up all sorts of numbers, all sorts of uh, yardage in their run game, in their pass game. I mean, we really have to give credit to Golden West. I mean, with 138 left in this first half, their defense has held up. It, it has not been the smoothest football game we've ever seen. Both sides have made a few mistakes, but it is a very competitive contest. Golden West broke one long one for 75 yards and is ahead seven to nothing. Harbor College certainly has the ability to score points. They have scored bundles of points in their four previous games, but Harbor College is facing a Golden West team that plays good, solid defense. Coach Nick Mitchell prepares his squad better than any community college coach in Southern California, in my opinion. Harbor College, second and 12. And Chris Smith will go empty back again and look to air it out here. Golden West shifting their line. Standard four-man rush coming from Golden West. Chris Smith drops back. They run the D-line finds some middle. pressure, and Chris Smith has to get away and throws it away. And that's illegal and grounding. That's a flag. Illegal grounding. He is not out of the box, according to that official. And Well, there's no receiver within 30 yards of the play. I, I believe he was trying to get out of that. Imaginary we'll box, the, we'll but see uh, what the call is. He might be calling a horse collar, perhaps. Well, we'll just have to wait for a, a signal. Illegal grounding is the call. Okay. So, in the official, so the referee, in his opinion, the quarterback was not out of the box when he threw the ball away to avoid the sack. Well, we have such an odd angle up here at the box, so sometimes it's best to just well, wait the for the official. Was right in front of the play. Yep, he knows what's best. Harbor College. I'm sure Golden West will take it. <laughs> marching backwards, but Harbor College is loaded with speed and a lot of very fine athletes. They can break one at any time in the game. Meanwhile, Harbor calls a timeout with 1.32 remaining in quarter number two. Golden West leading 7-0. Both teams are meeting with their coaches in front of their respective benches, getting ready for this last minute 32, quarter number two. Beautiful night here at Labarge Stadium. We're looking to the west. The sun is setting, the clouds are orange. The prediction of some rain tonight so far has not come true and it surely doesn't look like there's any coming towards us. Beautiful John, night at Labarge. And John, third, uh, third, third down and uh, 32 to go here with 132 left. If you're L.A. Harbor, do you just run it and then punt it away and play it safe for the second half or risk maybe Golden West capitalizing on a mistake and possibly going up two scores? Well, I, I believe your call is right. They, they, will run the ball, they will run the ball safely probably right up the middle. Uh, get as much yardage as they can. Every play is designed to be a touchdown at least on the chalkboard. Chris Smith under center with the snap and he keeps it to the right. And a big well, game he for gets oh. a lot of that back. And the safety lights him up and the and flag is flag thrown by the official. From a long ways away. And the side was, judge came from about 20 yards away to throw that flag and it'll be interesting to see what he calls. Thrown towards the safety that came in and put the crack on uh, Smith. We'll see what what they call here. I don't know if maybe it was a helmet to helmet or whatnot. The referee will give us a signal.
Unnecessary roughness. I'm sure they're calling head to head. And there again, how things can change from third and 27 on the 10 yard line to first and 10 on the 40, a minute 23 to go. Harbor's condition changes drastically in their yeah. favor. And if you're going to West, you have to be disappointed. They're about to get a stop, about to get a punt, and, and you have that mistake there. Chris Smith again, shotgun. I'll be saying that a lot. Drops back, looks middle, throws it into the flat. Good play. Down Willis with a couple. Short gain, but he stops the clock. So that's the right way to play it. Brings up second and probably about eight. On this drive, LA Harbor has to be happy with at least a field goal. They haven't been able to get anything going, but you never know. Uh, probably they'll be happy if they just keep the ball for the rest of the half. Sure. Because you always want to score. But sure. if they can keep the ball out of Golden West's hands, they'll probably consider this a victory. Chris Smith bobbles the snap. And he's got the run. Runs run. it, keeps it. We'll go to the right side and be brought down by the D-line. They have one timeout remaining on the board. We'll see if they choose to use it or let the time run off. And we'll show you the replay of that bobble here in just a minute. Har Harbor's and here ball. we go with the little bobble. Third Chris Smith moving around and it's brought down. Harbor's oh, wow. left guard came up a bit early. We'll have a That's little a five here. yard penalty for motion on Harbor. 36 seconds remaining. It's going to be third and 11. Golden West has one timeout remaining. What are we calling? Re official referee says motion. Harbor, 36 seconds remaining. Golden West with one timeout. So Harbor's got to run a play. They can't just kill the clock or Golden West will call a timeout. But Harbor has shown the ability to move the ball in bunches. The clock went down to 26 seconds. They're showing empty back Fischl's here. They're showing that. pass. Smith has been shown to keep the ball a lot for a quarterback. There's still uh, two safeties are playing very deep. Smith's dropping back. Escapes from the pressure. Flag They're is thrown. A holding Chris penalty. Smith throws underneath, and he'll find his wide receiver, who does look like he got out of looks like he got out of bounds. It looks like there's going to be a hold back in the defensive in the offensive backfield. Harbor just keeps shooting themselves in the foot. I hate to say that over and over. There must be some other cliche that I can use, but a holding penalty on a crucial third down situation well, doesn't got, help. Well, we got to give uh, Golden West a lot of credit. Their defense a lot of credit. I mean, they've, I mean, certainly they've shut them out this first half with I mean, oh. only 10 seconds left. You never know what could happen, but thus far it's been all Golden West. Well, and what Golden West has shown me tonight is they're as good as we think they are. They're a very fine football team, very well prepared to play. The two games that they lost, one play either way in both games, and they'd be 4-0. Golden West has a very fine football team, and Coach Mitchell and his staff have prepared them to play tonight against Chris another very good there. football team. Now fumble comes out. Golden West will recover. Get out of his way and let him, run, let him run, let him run, let him run, let him run. And wow. Oh, he's brought down. And there's Near the no one. There's no time on the no clock. No time left. Wow. That was a saving tackle. And Edwards with a tackle there. That's Amazing. That was a mistake we were trying to say Golden West was trying to avoid. And here comes L.A. Arbor almost giving up another score right at the end of the half. The old coach said years ago, that's why you play the game. You just never know what's going to happen. And a lot of action for uh, only a seven to nothing score, John. Yes, I mean, we, saw, we saw almost everything we could have seen. And that seven point, that touchdown was a 75 yard breakaway run. And, and now I have Mario Pabletti on the sidelines. He'll tell you about the first half. 
Outstanding first half for Golden West defense. They stopped LA Harbor running game on pretty well, causing many fumbles, including the one at the end. Golden West went up almost 14 nothing. Unfortunately, they couldn't get in. Also, and a trivia note, the starting kicker for Golden West, Danny Rogos, got injured in the last game with El Camino. In his place, Cody Johnson has taken over. Of course, a very, um, very weird kick. It's a rugby kick, like John said. That's why he's in the game right now. John, Victor. Thank you for that, Mario. Oh, well, it was a terrific first half. John, we'll see well, you well. Well, what we have on the field tonight is the number 11 and the number 13 team in Southern California playing like two very good football teams. There have been some mistakes. Both sides have been offsides. A couple of 15-yard penalties, uh, fumbles. That last play could have very easily led for six points. Uh, we'll see what the second half holds uh, when both teams come back at LaBarge Stadium. And uh, we'll be right back in just a bit to get the second half going. Indiana today. Elkhart's a place that has lost jobs faster than anywhere else in America. And the people who've lost them have no idea what to do or who to turn to. In fact, local TV stations have started running public service announcements that tell people where to find food banks, even as the food banks don't have enough to meet the demand. 